Hello, welcome to IMHO. In my homosexual opinion. I'm Dobby Bags. And I'm Alexis P. Bevels. The P stands for pass. Pass the on the Do you know what think about your pee side. before you get here? No, but you know what? Yeah. I pee a lot. I know you do. It's, it's a weird. problem. It's weird. Listen, it's a problem, and I really don't know. All bladders okay, are... let, let me let me take it to let me take it to the masses. If I pee a lot, what does that mean? Health problems. Yeah, but I also think it's just I refuse to wait even a minute. Like when I have to go, I have to go. When I want food, I have to get food, and okay. I won't stop until I get achieve what, what I want. What did I tell you the other day? What did I tell you the other day? That Curtis told me that I think he saw on Instagram Reels because he doesn't do TikTok and it's embarrassing. Self reliance feels better than self indulgence. Let me say that again. Can self reliance you? feels better. No, I know what all of those words mean together in that string of sentence. Mm -hmm. But for those who may be watching who don't, will you well, explain? Like, for instance, when you have a day where you get a lot of stuff done and you really just mm. wanted to lay in bed all day and watch Game of Thrones down, for the 10th down, time. Down to yeah. And then you actually do get stuff done. It feels a lot better than had you laid in bed and watched the same series over and over again. In well, theory. Well, I so In theory, but I have to say, have you ever had chip and dip? Thank you. That is something that a lot of people aren't remembering nope. during the, that these times. What, babe? This just arrived. Oh, it's my new Trixie stuff. Thank uh, you. Unboxing. I ordered the um. Oh, thanks to Kristen. <laughs> Thanks to Kristen, she gave me a gift card because I she knew I would not be able to resist the Juno Birch launch. <gasps> oh! So I did make a little purchase, plus I got a new blush palette because I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say this. Trixie blush palettes. JB loves blush. Trixie blush palettes. Superior. Maybe they just are. maybe join our Patreon Patreon and see an unboxing. Ooh, I'll unbox this for our extra episode today. Yeah. Okay, cute. But I listen. I love chip and dip. I think we were done. Were we done with that? I was gonna say, I wanted to do self-reliance yesterday, but I... No, I won't share. I was pooping all day. Diarrhea. Oh my God. <laughs> Gut health is related to your brain health. I heard that on a podcast. I, I believe it, but I don't want to get involved. But you know what I think it was? What? The other night, so we live by a Krispy Kreme, and not only do we live by a Krispy Kreme, it's a drive through does that have in the, does it do the sign when they're hot? You know, it'll be like fresh. Oh, no, no, no. I, every time my driver's driving, I'm, I'm in my phone. I can't see. Right, absolutely. Because um, otherwise I get car sick. What's a safety issue for those so on the road? So my driver you. wanted to go. <laughs> I'm such an asshole. My roommate wanted to go. She just wanted one donut. And then I heard that a whole dozen was only $4.99. You have a to do it. A dozen, dozen Krispy Kreme donuts. Okay, listen, I love a Krispy Kreme. Hot. They came out warm. They came out warm through the drive-thru. Now, they will melt in your hand and your mouth. Yeah. You just got to get one in some. Not crispy. They're, they are no, melty. No, they are very creamy. They're like Have you ever had a Krispy Kreme? Was it crispy? Thank you. Well, before we get too far into this episode, we're not ready for the review yet. Don't worry. You still got another 20 minutes before we bring that up. We do need to talk about our sponsor today, and that is Surfshark. Surfshark. You know, this is so incredibly well-timed because last night I was showing my roommate that movie, The Shallows, which is one of my favorite shark movies of all time after The Meg. Can sharks live in shallow water? They feed there. Oh. Well, The Shallows is like a general term. Is it Shark Week? You know, I've been saving Shark Week for marriage. Because okay. there's not much I haven't saved. Well, there's actually plenty of shark content out across the world. There's even shark content that we can't access here in the United States of America. Well, thank God for Surfshark. Surfshark. Surfshark is a VPN that protects your information. But the thing I love the most, I get to travel the world, baby. Mama from your own Home. So you can actually set whatever country you want so that you can watch their shark content. Now... If you're not into shark content, you can also watch Drag Race, you know, in other countries. You don't actually have to pay for Drag Race like you do here in America, which is nice. 
What do you love about Surfshark? I love that it protects your information. Now, what does that mean to you, Alexis? Well, you know how sometimes you go into a new website and you're gonna buy something, like, you go into a sketchy website off Instagram and you're gonna buy, like, a dress that you know is gonna be sure. five sizes sure. too small, and then yeah. it automatically has your credit card come right. up. Yeah. Well, Surfshark protects all that, so you don't have, you don't do, you, it won't read, so what she's trying to say is that there are a lot of bad people on the internet trying to get you, and Surfshark keeps you protected from them. So that's Absolutely. That's easier way to say. It. I tried. That's to what I was going to say. I tried to explain it in a way that like you didn't really you let me understand. finish. But well, your brain uh, is so smooth. Yeah. If you would like to protect your information and travel the world, you can get Surfshark by using the code IMHO at checkout. Link in the description box. You get eighty three percent off and. Three free months. <laughs> well done. Thanks, Surfshark. It's Surfshark Surf Week. Yeah, we... Do it again. It's Surfshark Surf Week. Week. Does yeah. it right? Yeah. Okay. It set the stage. It's my birthday weekend. At time of filming, it is my birthday party evening. Mm -hmm. Now, because we don't know anyone in LA, the birthday party is basically just me and Alexis. However... Sounds like a party. I have some incredible desserts to look forward to. Sure, we'll probably order pizza at some point, but I didn't think about that ahead of time. I only got chip and dip and my favorite donuts. Let me talk about these donuts. They're from Ralph's, okay? Ralph's is like a jewel if you're in Chicago. They're called sour cream donuts. Yeah. I can't explain it. I am obsessed with these donuts. So I tell Kurt, I didn't get them. I told Curtis to go get them. So we got them. And then he baked me my favorite pie. Chocolate oh. chess pie. It's my favorite pie. What did you say? Chocolate chess pie. Chocolate chess pie. Now, it's named that for reasons I don't understand. Queen's Gambit. Well, I can't play chess. I love a good checkers moment until I start to lose, and then suddenly it falls off the table. That's not on me. That's luck. Oh, she heard you talking about chocolate She chess cannot pie. come to the party. Like, you know, she'll make it all about her. She'll lick her pussy or, you know. JB does lick herself a lot. Like, I think that's a dog. I think that's a dog oh. thing. But yes, my bir it is my birthday weekend. A time of release of this episode, it is probably my birthday. Because my yes! birthday is, is this week. And... So thank you so much, everyone, for the birthday wishes. And of course, for the Venmos. Just the fact that you know, like, how difficult it is to age. Uh, the fact that you're you're helping me with that on my birthday is, like, so meaningful. Yes. Actually, can I get can I get serious for a second? Mm -hmm. Can I get sentimental? Yes. Serious. Mm -hmm. Love. Yes! Okay, you can play on your phone if it makes you uncomfortable. Okay. So this past week, my aunt passed away pretty suddenly, unexpectedly. Um, and she was a good one. She was the good one. She was the liberal safe space in the world of conservative Christian nut jobs. She was the open-minded, liberal, sweet aunt, Aunt Brenda. She was also the youngest aunt. Like, uh, uh, nothing makes sense. We're all gonna die. Do everything you want right now. Do it right now. Literally, turn this off and go fly a plane. Well, maybe don't turn this off. Or you can fly a plane while listening to us. But anyway, she passed. It was devastating. Oh, it's it time to be real, though. Oh, okay. Do we do it? Anyway, so I want to go home and be with my family and yes. say goodbye to Aunt Brenda. So I booked a last minute flight, had to. Last minute flights are what? Expensive. So I put on the internet, hey, if you wanna book a cameo with me, this is where I'm at. I would love to do it, not only to distract myself, but also to be able to pay to get home so I can go to this funeral. So many people, 38 in fact, booked cameos with me. It took me three hours to do oh. all, all 38. And I had donations on Venmo. Anyway, I was able to completely pay for my flight and I can't thank y'all enough. The fact that people took time, reached out and said, we'll get you home. Thank you so much. Like she's done nothing for me. So nothing is a relative term. You have your own Aunt Brenda, and she's alive. And you're well, throwing I, that in my face. I really... And you're throwing that in my if face. If they could trade places, I would let them. Oh, Because yeah. she is awful. Yeah. Um, See, that's what I'm saying. I'm sorry. Sorry to bring up politics slash religion. There is no God. Or there is a God. No, I changed my mind. God is real because Brenda was the good one. He took good Aunt Brenda because he's like, I need more time without that shitty Brenda. I need the good Brenda. Anyway, I love you, Aunt Brenda. 
and this mm. one's for you. <laughs> <laughs> this review is for you. This, <laughs> and thank you everyone so much for being just so kind and generous in this in this really awful time. Thank you. Well, I'm really sorry about that, and I know you <laughs> loved her. I was so sincere. <laughs> I'm really sorry about that. Well, no, no, no. I'm kidding. Let me take it again. Let me okay. <laughs> well. Mm. <clears throat> Well, I am really sorry that you lost your aunt. I know that you loved her and cared about her very much. And it's it's important during these times to remember the good things that you had together. Like Surf Shark. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And Brenda would have loved that one. I'm going to be you. honest with you. She would. Yeah. She loved a VPN. She, well, she had to keep her information safe. <laughs> Before we go any further, Darby, we have to address something. What? We have to address the lighting in the dresses from last week's episode. Oh my god, we missed it. We did because there's nine million franchises going on, oh. not to mention you're going through some stuff. Yeah, and I'm the and one that does all the work. We didn't want to skip talking about the looks from last because week. Because they were so incredible. They were so good. I love a light up runway. Yeah. Listen, I'm going to say it. Joshua Naponte started this trend with Mo Hart on Drag Race UK versus the world. Joshua Naponte, trendsetter. We really Game need to, changer. We really need to commission something now before he gets way out of our league. He's beyond our league. Did you see Cardi B's new video? That was all yeah, Joshua. Yeah, I know. Lizzo. But maybe. Meg he, The Stallion. Yeah. You don't think we're in the in the Lizzo and Meg the Stallion of the drag world? <laughs> I really do. I often I often get called Meg the Stallion, and then I go. Ah. So let's talk about them. Let's talk real quick. Raja. Raja was futuristic. So cool. Lasers. Lasers. I, this is one of my favorite things she's worn. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. I loved the cage. I loved it all. I'm so glad we got Raja back on our screens. I know I've said it before. I'm going to say it again. Oh, I'm glad you did. Evie Oddly. This is Evie the... Evie Oddly mushroom. Most incredible. Mushroom. This is so beautiful. So Gorgeous. And the hair was incredible. I loved this. Yeah, it's my favorite thing she's ever worn. I was gonna say that. Sunny Shea Coulee in a Joshua Naponte designs. Gorgeous. Can I say this? Loved it lit up. Loved it. I kind of preferred it not lit. The colors and her face and makeup with it. I like both, yeah. but it was such a beautiful gown even without the light. This was, yeah, this was one of the only ones that's like without the light. Without the light, it was still, yeah. Incredible. Jinx Monsoon, Balenciaga. Burn at the stake. Do, do you remember that trend a few years ago of every musical artist would do that at award shows? They light up their dress with like stuff. Oh yeah, I saw that in Eurovision. In Eurovision they did it once where the girl was really See? high and she sang this opera and all this shit was around her. It was really cool. Carrie Underwood did it on something. So of course, you know, I was really excited about it because it was Carrie Underwood, but then it didn't go anywhere. Just kind of was like pictures. Yeah. Cool. Really yeah, cool. I liked it. Beautiful. Impressive that she got that silhouette with with all that shit. And the little flames. The little flames on the side of my face. Mm -hmm. Trinity the Tuck, Las Vegas showgirl. Cool. Strange. I just feel like you could see all of the the parts. It was. What would you do? What would we do? What would we do? For light up? Yeah, for light up. I know exactly what you're gonna say. Let's say it. One, two, three. The light, light bright from box. Jesus. Oh, yeah. That was so fun when you Thank did you that. Thank you so much. That's and to like funny. upgrade that. Well, I was thinking, you remember that vine of, was it a vine? Of the kid that put the glow stick in the microwave and it exploded in his face, and his dad's like, oh, okay, great, you got it in your eyes, and your beautiful shirt. Do you remember that? <laughs> <laughs> he no. was so worried about this guy's shirt. No. Anyway, I would do that. I would dress you up like a glow stick, and I'd put you in a microwave. And I'd protect my beautiful shirt. We're competing as a team. No. Monet Exchange was a little more subdued, a little more classic. I, I thought do, this was pretty. I do wonder what the prompt was because some people were a little more like uh, 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 accents, if you will. I thought it was really pretty. Yeah, I thought it was really pretty with the light on and then with the light off, it was like a, a fun little... It did get a little lost, but... Yeah, the hair was cool. The fact that there were lights in the hair. I mean, her face. Yeah, her face cannot do any wrong. Jada Essence Hall. Joshua Naponte. This is... 
incredible. In insane. Similar to Shay's, I liked it with the lights on instead of with the lights off. Like what, where she was, was fully so lit. Yeah. much to see. Uh, to see. You did me a little pun there. Ocean well, pun. Well, Shark Week. The Vivian. <laughs> the Vivian. What? These wings are cool. Yeah. And I like them lighted up. She looks really cool. This wig. <laughs> <laughs> I love I love it. We, but listen, what was the logic behind it? We love a Lee by Arta Wigs. You know what I think it is? Is she's a she's a warrior angel. She's like um, you know, Joan of Arc. Yeah, and it was even like it started off all blue lights and then it went to rainbow lights. That's so fucking cool. And the fact that the wings moved like based on the fingers. Yeah, why? That is amazing. No, beautiful. Beautiful. Incredible. The winners are Those Jinx are just the looks. and Trinity for some reason. Jinx and Trin. And, and Jinx won. Jinx won. So congratulations. And now Jinx has four stars, I think. So many stars that we've stopped counting because we can't count above two. That's why there's only two of us now. Yeah. We literally lost count. So we move on to the most recent episode. Listen, it's the reason you're here. It's what brought you here. Let's be honest. The variety show. The, the Drag variety Race gives back variety gives show. For life. Now, All Stars always starts with the talent show. Not always. Sometimes. Usually. And for it to finish on that as well, I love that. Because ultimately, you can do all the acting challenges, the improv challenges, the branding challenges, the make something from trash challenge that you want. But I want them to be judged on what they are giving us as drag performers when we go to see them. And that is the talent show. So I liked that it ended on like, this is you. You do what you do. Yeah. And for it to have it count the most, the two winners get three stars each. Giving Shay a chance to get back into the lead where she should have been, honestly. Can we talk about that? Yeah, is anybody really upset about it though? Because it seems like in my world, I'm just seeing everyone defending, but it's like, no, she has killed every single thing. So I hated the predictability of it. You have this competition where you're competing for stars. There was a little twist at one point where you could give away a star and all of that. And then you get down to the final episode and suddenly, okay, we're just giving away three now. Like, it, I don't love that. But I saw what they had to do for the Shay storyline. And I agree that Shay should have already had enough stars that this shouldn't have been an, a, an issue. So I appreciate that they tried to right the wrong. However, but, but it's it, a little like, oh. well, but in its defense, I mean, I'm not that any of them would coast anyway, but I know probably a lot of them were like, oh shit, we gotta get into high gear. It's nothing matters now. We're kind of all at an even, like we better really bring this home. Right, but doesn't that, that as a do viewer, it. but doesn't that as a viewer taking the stakes away suddenly at the end, doesn't that feel a little like, Darby, please don't push your vegetarianism on everyone. If they wanna eat steak, they can. Not if you see a cow play with a ball. Listen, dolphins play with balls. I don't eat dolphin. Do you eat dolphin? Well, what's tuna? I am happy that we were able to root for Shay this episode because the minute they said it was a variety show and they could get three stars, I knew that Shay Coulee was going to the finals. Yeah. As far as performances go, you can't. You, you can't really can't hold a candle. Eat Shay Coulee. I will say that there were everyone was good. Everyone did their thing. I was thoroughly entertained the she whole time. She was doing a full Murray and Peter. That Peter could have been. Yeah, that could have been a stadium tour. Like, I would have sat in a stadium. Yeah. Well, let's go ahead and get started with that then. Since we start with Shay, let's keep going with Shay. She's coming out with her own music. I know they all do. They all come up with their songs and they're not all singers and it's fine. We go on Spotify. We, we, for fun. But to add in the element of just, there is a performance. There is a face. Okay. Beyonce, Sasha Fierce, right? Shay has her own version of Sasha Fierce. I don't know what her name is. Maybe it's just Beyonce, but it's intoxicating. Well, oh, I didn't mean to skip. RuPaul's look killed me. I did like it. The gingham. Sequin, sequin gingham. gingham with the, and the gloves. With the pantsuit. Cute. So important now too, because it kept most of her arms covered and she had gloves on and stuff. You know, with monkey pox, be careful. The World Health Organization just called it a global emergency. Good. Today, as of today. Good. As of well, literally because, today. Because children, children are getting filled with pox. Well, that's why I'm, that's why they're probably moving It's because forward. they're all, it's kids are always monkeying around. Kids are always monkeying around. 
Maybe you didn't hear me. Kids are always monkeying around. <laughs> Pops. Let's talk about Trinity the Tux. Speaking of monkeying around, <laughs> she was uh, uh, ho hoeing down on this little stage. Yeah, um... Fine. And I say this as someone from the South. Are we proud to be Southern? It, I did not... In this current climate and just socially... As, as two traumatized... Southerners. Southern humans. Who escaped. No. I don't Keep know. that to yourself. I did, yeah, I didn't want to say like, okay. She that, she really should have. You call your cousin. She should have come out for her talent and just admitted that she was she devil by night. Immediate win. Can I tell you? That's what I said to Curtis. I said, this is dumb. She should just come out dressed as a devil and recite what she devil by night wrote on Reddit as a monologue. Yeah. And then leave. And that's it. Three stars. I would have taken the stars from other people and given it to her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Evie Oddly, Evie Oddly did a little switcheroo performance. I liked this. It was fun. This was cute. It was Evie. It was Evie's energy. She looked adorable. Yeah. Really. I love her really, in short hair. I love her. I love her in general. This was really sad hearing her like talk about the the seriousness of Ellers Danlos and what she's yeah. dealing with, That's... particularly. I'm but glad. I'm glad she she's... had this. And I'm glad that she just. She is such a light. She is able to laugh and continue to work through it. And that's so difficult and I wish she didn't have to, mm -hmm. but I'm so glad she has the attitude she does. Yeah. God she gives his rootinous battles to his tootinous cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> Jada Essence Hall, Jada Essence Hall, another original song. This is about look over, more look over there, branded content, I love it. It was funny because we only hear her scream, look over there! And it kind of, you know, it goes up. But this isn't a song, so it was like, look over there. Look, look over, over there. there. <laughs> it was She's also really fun to watch perform. But, so, I love everything she does. Yeah, Q, Q, Q. A little Jeff Goldblum. Very little. Very little Jeff Goldblum. Almost an afterthought, some would say. Production? Yeah. Do you, did, was there not an Office Depot close by? That looked like it was hand-drawn. Jinx Monsoon singing live this gorgeous vampy number. I loved it. When girls do things that we know they can do really well, there has to be an added element. Otherwise, it's just so predictable. Well, that there was. We she was start to... doing that with the mic. And then That's she put it in her mouth. Really impressive. That is impressive. But oh yeah, I have a picture. I of wish that. there was more. I wish there had been a little. Like I wish there had been a little comedy to it. That's what she does really well. Comedy singing. Are you kidding? Have you ever heard her sing? Old MacDonald farted on a cow farm. No, I haven't. How does that? Will you remind me how that goes, Darby? Mm-hmm. Old MacDonald had a cow farm. He farted all on them with a <laughs> and a <laughs> here, here. I'm gonna lose a tooth. <laughs> <laughs> Raja, Raja was one of my favorites. This is yeah. beautiful. It was super, super beautiful to watch, and I loved. I mean, she looked gorgeous. I did say to Curtis, like, it's entertaining to watch, but I wonder if she's good at it. You know, like, oh, I don't know. because we don't know. We, yeah. I don't know. I don't, you know, like, obviously it's not a call I can make, but I was thinking, like, that would be really hard to judge. The Vivian with her hit single, Bitch on Heels. I liked that. I actually liked it, too. Yeah. She always looks stunning. Was she singing or was she lip singing? I think they were all singing lip syncing. I think Jinx was actually singing, though. Yeah, that's true. And so was Monet. Uh, speaking of, let's talk about it. We got a redemption story for Miss Monet in live vocals here. This is so good. Well, her previous live vocals were, ah, kind of what I do. And then she's like, well, fuck it. I'm a bass. I got a trick up my sleeve. But then she decided to go bass. And oh my God. Incredible. What a gorgeous voice. This wig is incredible. She is beautiful. We got an updated meme with the opera glasses. Yeah, thank you so much, Rue. It was 10 out of 10 for me. I think and also lean into your gifts. Okay. You have to do what Don't makes run you away special from them. because you lean the, into your only gifts. you can do what you can do. Lean, like you, like you how you can do. And TikTok sound. So that was the talent show. Everyone was so talented, but there were clearly people who were more talented than others. Our original one star club, they were the final two people to get stars. Shekule and Isn't that Monet amazing? Exchange. And this was such an exciting lip sync. Well, because they're both such good lip syncers. But before that lip sync, oh, there was a twist. And a turn. They got all the stars. 
And RuPaul said, all right, you three, Monet, Jinx, and Shay are going to the final. Monet, you have the most stars, yeah. so you are gonna choose who gets to go now. Between Trinity and Jada. Early on in the season, it was all about the Twinners. Yeah, and, and their alliance. Alliances. I mean, she kind of had to pick Trinity. After there wasn't watching it, really. Like, Jada even saw it, because when the camera cut to Jada, she's just. Let's just get it over with. It would have been fucked exactly if she did. Even though I think Jada deserves a spot in that top four. Did you see the, um, I mean, well, and also we said it from the beginning, no matter how we feel about her, she plays the game really well. Trinity is really good at Drag Race and she really slayed this season. So mm -hmm. I'm not mad that she's in the top four. I just hate that it came down to having to choose over someone else yeah. because at that point, it's not necessarily about performance. It's just like who you like. There is yet another chaotic twist. The people that didn't make it into the final, they're gonna do a lip sync a Perusa too for fifty thousand dollars. That's something to snooze at. Okay, what they did was they separated the the other four. I'm not even gonna say the bottom four. Okay, we're all winners here. Literally. Literally. When they separated the other four before the lip sync, she was like, "More news to come." And then they left the stage. I thought she was gonna turn them into the final jury. I was like, "Oh, this is." She can't just say like. <gasps> that would be no sickening. Things. To have a jury of drag queens actually be in charge of who wins? Working drag queens, I mean. But yes, they in fact get to do their own crowning for she done already done had hers as the crowning. Which I think is kind of funny because they have already done had theirs is Because they're all winners. Yeah. So I thought that was kind of a funny thing. That is funny. But to get $50,000, someone in that group of not the top four is going to go home with more money than three of the top four did. That's nothing to shake your butt at. Vivian looked really pissed until she found that out. Yes, she did. <laughs> I would be pissed too. But I'm glad she's getting a chance to show, I'm glad they're all getting an equal opportunity to show their stuff all the way to the very end. Yes. I think that's what's my favorite part about this season. Who do you think is gonna, she done already done had hers is, and who do you think is going to win it all? So she done already had hers, it's gonna be Vivian, Jada, Raja, mm -hmm. And Evie, though this is gonna be a tough call because Evie performs. I was gonna say Evie. I think it could be Evie or it could be Vivian. Vivian's done really well. I love Jada. I would want it to be Jada, but I do, I see it, I see an Evie win. Yeah. Notice no. none of us said Raja, but we're so happy she's there. I'm so happy she's there. Love... She is so lovely and fun. And tall. And then, okay. the, and then so the winner then we got of all Shay, winners. We got Jinx, we got Monet and Trinity. Trinity. Well, I think it would be wonderful for Monet to win by herself. I do think it's gonna have to be Shay or Jinx for me. You think it's gonna be a tie? No, I want oh. I want Shay to win. I think it would be really funny if but I it think ended Jinx up being could. a tie and it was Jinx and Monet. To have Monet again tie for first place. <laughs> I think it should be Jinx based on the season. Wait. I would be thrilled if it were Shay or Monet. I know we didn't talk about last week's, but what? I need to talk about Jinx's little lad look for her lip sync. So cute. Oh yeah. She looked like a dirty little boy. Overall, this has just been an entire season of circle lap and the cir happy, happy winners winners lap. Winners lap. So walk up Whoever pride. ends up winning, as long as it's not Trinity, we're gonna be thrilled. Absolutely. And if Trinity does win, she did a good job on a TV show. She'll have a lot of money. So make sure you join us for this finale next week. What are we gonna do so for the exciting. finale? Well, I will actually, I'll be out of town. So Live actually- Live from the funeral? Yeah, I'm gonna call you from the, from the, as she's being lowered. We could her have her be our fine, her, she, uh, she could be a guest as her final act. Yeah, well, I think she's already been cremated. Perfect, we could use it for about her. <laughs> Too far. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so that when we do finally post that finale video, you will not miss out. Absolutely. Please join us on Patreon for exclusive content, never before seen footage, and extra little episodes. Extra, including an unboxing of a Trixie package that I paid for. And if you'd like to send Kristen us, paid for. if you'd like to send us some PR, we are open to that. <laughs> yeah, no, I have to get the PO box set up. I'm so sorry, y'all. Also, if you would like a message from us, we are both on Cameo. You can go ahead and Chan, of course. You can hit up Cameo, and we can talk talk to you. 
We also have a Shamio. That's where you can get a message from both of us Beautiful. with background and all of it. Go to imhotheshow.com. It's gorgeous. Right next to our merch, you'll see Shamio. And it's gorgeous. Also, we will be heading out of town, heading to Chicago <gasps> in, by the time you watch this, just a week, really. So we will be heading back to reunite with our beloved Chan at Circuit Moms Market Days weekend parties. It is three days worth of parties. The tickets for the three day pass are already sold out. The parties will sell out as well, but there are still tickets available for individual parties. So make sure you get your tickets. We will be filming hilarious content all weekend long. Actually last year's footage is being posted to Circuit Moms <gasps> channel. I think there's like five or six episodes up now, but there's still gonna be more released. So head over there so that you can view those those, I mean, we got into hilarious antics, okay? We interviewed we DJs, we interviewed buttholes. We saw holes, yeah. I, uh, adult film stars. She adult film starred. So at the credits, we are gonna show a little snippet from the newest episode so that you can get a little taste before you head over and subscribe to Circuit Mom. Yeah. Thank you so much for loving yourself so you can love everybody else. Oh, oh, and go listen to Sloppy Seconds. I got to be a guest and it is up now and it's a really fun episode. And if best. you're not my parents, please don't listen. Please it's, listen to it's it. It's also on YouTube. So if you'd rather see her do it, you can you can watch it. I yeah, watched go it. take it. Oh, you watched it? I did. Well, I was just counting the number of times you said my name and it wasn't the amount that it should have been. It wasn't the amount that should have been. Well, they cut a lot out. They left a lot out because they, they wanted me to kind of have my moment to shine. You know That's what I mean? literally not what Dipper said like during the episode, but. Bye. Denali. Um, and Denali just came off stage, did a sickening performance to Slay For You, Free Britney. How are you feeling? What's up? I feel so good. I feel so good that it's over. <laughs> I was really nervous. I usually don't get nervous before. You've worked with Casper before, uh, the I Anaconda. Yeah. Uh, Casper, sweetie. The, yeah. Name? Casper. Casper. No, yeah. She actually uh, was in a photo shoot with me for Drag Race. Yeah. For the snake moment, which this costume was made by Josh Ponte Designs. Perfect. It is a fully airbrush moment. How exciting is it to return to Chicago in this like busy time? Seeing all of my sisters getting to work has been very gratifying. Um, but most importantly, getting to like come back home and perform for Shy Town is always my favorite thing. I have something I've been meaning to ask you, and I know that now since you've been on TV, probably a ton of people ask you this. Have you ever seen a ghost? Um, I don't know. She's, there's one right next to me. Oh. 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 I have a oh. I can't go out in the sun. It's too soon, right? Okay. Well, no, it's not What's your highlight color? color? I'm curious. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, my highlight ghost. color is uh, ghost. Translucente. Yeah. Uh, there's Casper and there's Darby. <laughs>